Shalom, shalom. This week's Parsha is Parshat Bell, and I'd like to talk about the new moon, which I've discussed in previous years, but I want to talk about it a little differently this year. That's because I was talking to my friend a while back, and it just struck me because she said, oh, look, a crescent moon. And I was thinking about it. The way that we refer to the moon we say, oh, it's a full moon, it's a crescent moon, it's a half moon. And this is the way we talk about the moon, as if all of a sudden its really existence is just a crescent, and then it gets bigger, and then it diminishes. And like we talk about it as if that's what it is. It's a crescent moon, it's a half moon, it's a full moon. When in reality, we all know it's the same exact moon, it's always a full moon, but we're just referring to it as how we perceive it and that really struck me it struck me very very strongly because I think that this is so telling about people and how we speak and how we think and what we believe and how perception goes into becoming our reality and when you talk about the new moon and the our nation the Jewish nation goes according to the lunar calendar and it's of great significance to us and we're compared to the moon in terms of having uh, in our history um, successes and and how our how our lives have waxed and waned like the moon but how we never disappear despite the fact that we might not see going through all the persecutions and everything we might not see um, the possibility of a Jewish future inevitably because of God's promise we've seen that we always end up flourishing and this is a cycle that goes on and on um, and yes this is true but I want to talk about it from another perspective I want to talk about it from the perspective of the fact that it's so important in life we see things and we see them a certain way and we decide we call it what we see it um, which is, it makes sense, but I think when we do that, we should stop and think before we say something, before we label something a certain way, even though it seems so obvious to us because we've seen it that way, of that maybe, perhaps, as absurd as it might seem, even if we see something with our very own two eyes, that maybe, maybe there's a bigger picture that we don't see. Maybe we're seeing a sliver, a crescent. Maybe we're seeing half the picture. Sometimes we might even see the whole picture. But to at least proceed in our lives with a sense of modesty to understand that there's that we, we're not God and we don't see everything. And just like only God can see the moon in all its stages all the time, uh, constantly as clear as day uh, without using any devices. Um, so too with life. Only God really knows. And I think this this is such a concept. We have this concept that we say, you know, when something bad happens now, we say, Baruch Dayan HaEmet. And we, we bless and acknowledge God of truth and that everything happens for a reason. And then when something really good happens, we have this Baruch HaVatov HaMetiv and we declare the goodness of God and thank God for the goodness. But it's said at the end of these, when we understand and when we have a a clarity that we will bless the good as we bless as we bless the evil as we acknowledge that it's all from God it's all one it's all in a sense good meaning it has a purpose and despite the fact how we experience it as either full of light or very very dark and miserable is that this is God's will and God's will is good um, and we'll we'll see it and we'll understand it as such so it's so important, I think, for our nation, and we go according to the lunar calendar, to understand this, that when we first go out and when we call the new moon, when we acknowledge it, and when we see it, to remember that we're only seeing, we're, we're rejoicing because we understand that we only see, when we see a little bit, that we know that there's so much more to life. There's so much more that's yet to come that we can still see. And I love the fact that we call time and we go by the 
lunar calendar as opposed to going by the solar calendar because in the solar calendar what the sun is is every day the sun comes up there's no change i mean from what with the way we see it right we see the sun rise every single day it's not waxing and waning like the moon we're not it's it's a totally different experience from us as humans and when you go according to that calendar that frame of mind what it represents is that you think that every day every day is the same every day the sun rises every day is the same and it there's no sense of urgency there's no sense of time there's kind of like this delusion that for us as people that you know the sun will always shine tomorrow there's always a new opportunity like don't worry there's there's no rush you know in life and I'm not saying that there's necessarily a rush but we have to understand in life that things change and that the sun that rose today and that we see today is today even though the same sun will rise tomorrow things might not be the same tomorrow and when there's an opportunity when there's a, something that comes our way we have to understand and look at this opportunity as it might not be here tomorrow the possibility to help someone to do something good to whatever it is that we think we have until tomorrow, it doesn't mean just because you have the opportunity today that the sun will rise on that opportunity again tomorrow. And I think this is really, really important with time. None of us know what our time is. And, um, and none of us really know what the full picture is. And both of these lessons, I feel like we learn from the moon and um, they're crucial. They're crucial to, to living our lives, I think, with the maximum potential and trying to to harness that and trying to just grab the opportunities when we can. And with that, I just wish you all a very good Shabbat Shalom. Chodesh uh, Tov, even though it started last week. Um, that's another thing about Judaism. There's Chodesh month, Chodesh new. Um, a new month is new opportunity, but, but every day, every second, every moment um, is that is that opportunity. So, um, Let's let's grab it now and do the best we can. And with that I wish you Shabbat Shalom.